Hello YouTube, it's GeckoGuy31127 here. Um, I'm just doing a little update on my worms and stuff. Um, I've been having lots of mold issues, so I had to dump a whole lot of worms, completely good worms, out. Stuff. is wire mesh, some Tupperwares, the small ones are for the worms, and then energy drink because it's awesome. Um, a bigger one for crickets because I've been getting a lot of crickets and my containers are pretty small. So I'll start off with the small one. What you basically need to do is just take your lids, mark off, um, I'm just gonna eyeball it because I can't find a ruler anywhere in this house. Um, what you should do is take it about an inch, draw a line all the way around, so stick tune, Ugh. stick around, I'll show you that. Okay, so once you've got your lines drawn, um, you can barely see it, but all these squigglies, that's your waste material. So after you cut that out, you really don't need it. And all you're going to be left with is this one inch margin around here. So just to show you, da 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 da, did that. Should be easier to see on this one. Inch all the way around. And the reason for doing so is so you can overlap the mesh. And um, the reason why you want wire mesh versus any other thing, um, let's say nylon mesh from like doors, like screen doors, um, the crickets, if they climb high enough, like let's say they're on top of the paper towel tubes or whatever you use, like egg crates, they get high enough and then they start uh, crawling on the ceiling, they'll chew right through that nylon mesh, so you don't want to use that. So that's why you want wire mesh. Okay, so stick around. I'll come back with the next part, which is just cutting these out. Uh, YouTube, if you are going to do this for your reptiles, um, just make sure you know what you're doing. Have it all planned out. Draw what you need. Um, think twice, you know, the tech ed rule. Measure twice, cut once. Because after you cut and you mess it up, you can't return it for your error. And you're basically kind of out of luck there. So that's why you don't want to mess it up. Because you didn't think stuff through and just uh, did it as you went. you got to plan it out. Okay, so this is what they look like, and they are ready for the next phase, which is putting the screen on. Alright, so take the screen, slap it over, slap it over, under, over. For the mealworms, you don't really need to worry about putting too much on. One layer ought to cover it, but for the crickets, I would do both underneath it and over it just to make sure that um, you will have no cricket escapes. Alright, uh, join me in a little bit. Hello, Gecko Guy 31127 here. Um, final step here is just to apply silicone all around the base and the edges. Apply a good coat on there, let it dry, and then it's ready to put bugs in there. Alright, so I will do that. and. Make sure not to get any of this on you. Let it dry and sit overnight just to get the smell out because it is pretty smelly. Hello, Gecko Guy 31127 here. And this is the final product with the screen. And here are the meal worms. And here are the wax worms. Then all you need to do is just put your lids on. Okay, so there's that. And then here's 
the last one. Um, I need to go find some carrots or something to put in here. But that's how you make your own little critter keeper, bug keeper, whatever you want to call it. Alright, comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.